I would just like to announce that my crotch is wet. <laughs> That's why I keep standing up, just to try to get some of that water to drip off. Oh, just took a little break to take in this view of clouds and really nothing else. <laughs> just sitting in the rain, you know, why not? Good afternoon, travelers on the World Wide Web. I am feeling much better after my little bout with pneumonia, and here we are out uh, in the rain, putting around. Uh, I was planning on going to San Francisco, but there is just so much traffic out there now, um, and it's raining. Uh, there's really no need for me to go out there, so I think this is just going to be a little cruise today. Um, let's roll, and we'll talk. All right, first order of business, we got to do a U-turn. In all these little puddles, well, that's the thing. Sometimes they're bigger than they look. All right. They're deeper, I should say, than they look. Sweet. So a couple things after my cold ride a couple weeks ago and I just had everything fogging up, I bought some kind of anti-fog spray uh, to put on the inside of my visor. It is working very well. On the outside, I put a little layer of Rain-X and that is working very well. So I'm starting to realize that I really, really enjoy riding in the rain. Uh, I, it's, I can't really describe why. It's like, it's just a little exhilarating, you know? Like sometimes I, I am nervous in the rain, um, especially when I actually have somewhere to go and I get caught up in the rain uh, while I'm riding my bike. That can be a little scary. Um, but on rides like this where it's just raining and I wanna take the bike out because I wanna, I want to have experience when the ground is wet and when there's rain falling. You know, I don't want to get caught out somewhere that I've never been and it's raining and I'm out there freaking out. You know, I want to be calm in the rain. Um, and that's very important because when things are wet, it's way more important that you're smooth on all of your controls. So uh, that's definitely something I think about a lot is just how hard I'm squeezing the brakes. I try to brake a little bit earlier, try to leave myself more space, um, and really not grab any of the controls. You know, everything is loosey-goosey and, and featherweight. Today we are going to rant though. We're going to rant about helmets and why I cannot freaking find a helmet that fits me right. So I was at Cycle Gear the other day. I tried so many helmets, probably like 10 different helmets, um, Showies, Arise, Scorpions, all that. I realized my head shape is kind of in between an intermediate oval and a round oval. So the Bell MX-9 that I'm wearing right now squeezes the hell out of the side of my head. Um, not where my cheeks are, I'm talking like above my temples, like the edges, the side edges of my head. And I have to take my helmet off like every hour, maybe hour and a half if I'm really pushing it. Um, but it is so dang uncomfortable. Now of all the years I've been riding motorcycles, I've never had a helmet that doesn't give me a hot spot after a while. This Bell MX-9 is the most comfortable one I've had and it's not that great, to be honest. There were two helmets that I tried that fit the most comfortable, but they're not perfect either. So let me get your, your opinion. Um, the Arai XD4 still had a little bit of, in a large, still had a little bit of pressure on the sides of my head. Definitely nothing compared to what I'm feeling now with the Bell MX-9. The other thing was, uh, Arai has the Quantum X, that's a round oval head shape. I tried it in a large, too much pressure on my forehead, so a little bit too round. And I tried it in an extra large, which didn't cause me any hot spots, but I felt was a little bit too loose. I'm thinking about like, I know Arai offers thicker pads um, and headliners and things like that. Do you guys think that's safe to add a thicker headliner to get the proper fit? 
um, or is that kind of sketchy? I am trying to look for a Arai XT4 in an extra large. They didn't have it in stock. I'd love to see how that fits my head. Um, I know in Europe they've got the Tor X5 now, uh, which looks really nice. Uh, and that brings me to the next topic I want to talk about. Now for those of you watching in the United States, how important is that DOT sticker for you? Because I want to have a Narai Tor X5 shipped from Europe here. But that, that's only EC2206 rated, which is what I want. I want an EC2206 rated helmet. Um, I just... I'm not too worried that a cop is going to give me a ticket for not having a DOT sticker. It's if I get into a wreck or something, how does that affect insurance and claims and things like that? So if anybody knows, please comment. I am very interested because that Arai Tour X5 looks awesome. This traffic is driving me nuts. I would just like to announce that my crotch is wet. <laughs> That's why I keep standing up just to try to get some of that water to drip off and not pool right in my crotch. Oh. <laughs> Check out this glove. I'm not sure which model of Revit gloves it has, but it's got a little squeegee on the finger <laughs> and it's actually better than you'd think. All right, so you guys know every time we ride around town, I try to show you guys something new um, or something exciting. So this is Thompson Street in Alameda, and they are known for just going all out with the Christmas decorations. I wish it was dark enough so the lights are on. Yeah, you guys just look at the look on the right, and we'll make a U-turn, and we'll check out the other side of the street. But um, if you come here kind of towards evening time, dinner time, um, there are usually just lines of people walking down this street. And it's just a lot of fun. I love it. This is actually the first time I've come here this year. It's just very cute. I do want to say I don't think it's very nice that people give other people crap for not wanting to ride in the rain, like for not wanting to endure the elements so much like we've talked about this before motorcycles is it's all about risk and how much risk you're willing to take you know and and that's a personal decision uh and i don't think we should give people hate for that so people who do that stop that be nice everyone is just trying to enjoy being on two wheels and it is up to you on how you want to do that But back to helmets, if you guys have any suggestions on any type of helmet that's a little bit on the rounder head shape side, um, but still intermediate, and it's good for ADV bikes and, and touring, you know, I mean, uh, I really enjoy the Peak. I really like Peaks. I think they've just, sometimes the sun is just in your face and no matter how dark your shield is, uh, it doesn't always help. So. Um, and it, of course it matches the style of my bike. So any suggestions there or s how I can maybe modify the helmet, switch out the headliners, things like that. Any type of advice would be much appreciated because I'm really sick and tired of wearing helmets that aren't that comfortable. 
you know um i was really hoping the scorpions would fit me because i like the price point that their helmets are at but they're just too narrow it, they squeeze my head so harder than the uh, bell mx9 here that i've got oh the rain's really coming down now loving it it's awesome No traction control on the Tenere, so I do, you know, I'm very, very conscious on how hard I'm squeezing the throttle. I am definitely more comfortable in the rain than probably that I've ever had, just from going on these outings when it's raining around town. throttle it a little bit there is water pooling in on the inside of my visor right at the bottom that's not good <laughs> oh, just took a little break to take in this view of clouds and really nothing else <laughs> just sitting in the rain you know why not all right, let's get a move on because my crotch is really, really wet. <laughs> oh, sorry, TMI, but we're moving. Also, my boots are not all that waterproof. And sometimes like you'll, you'll I don't think you guys will be able to see, but there's some big puddles uh, right here and it is just splashing all up on my feet. Feels like I kicked something. Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh, that was a giant puddle. Oh, my socks are wet. <laughs> oh gosh. I was as prepared as I could be, but my equipment is just not cut out for sustained rain alrighty friends I think it's time for me to go home get a cup of tea or something to warm up a little bit and dry off I appreciate all of you for watching subscribing commenting you guys have been you guys have been posting some really really kind words um, and it makes me feel awesome and I'm glad that some of you enjoy this nonsense that I'm putting on the internet uh, I really appreciate it all it's fun for me like when I interact with you guys it makes all this more fun and more worth it and it really motivates me as well so um, I appreciate all of you thank you so much ride safe uh, again helmet suggestions for a intermediate to intermediate round oval person preferably ADV style but could be anything uh, or just general helmet advice would be much appreciated because mine is driving me insane all right <laughs> thank you guys right safe appreciate you much love see you next time peace out I love riding in the rain it makes me calm and relaxed sometimes sometimes it freaks the hell out of me either way i guess i sometimes love riding in the rain